This Tips from the Workbench is going to give you an alternative to buying a lot of really expensive tools, which perhaps when you're getting started, you really don't have a need for every day, or perhaps uh, they're on guns that you only occasionally work on. Maybe you don't work on a lot of ARs, uh, or maybe uh, you work on your own ARs, uh, your family and friends. Um, so, you know, anytime you buy an expensive one use tool, uh, it's not like a crescent wrench that you can use it on an unlimited number of things. Um, the, uh, for example, the tap, which will clean out the uh, buffer tube uh, ring on the rear of your uh, lower on your AR, uh, is not something you're going to pay for in one use. Uh, as an example, if you look at it at uh, what used to be Rutland or Enco and any of the places now, the prices have gone up. To buy this particular tap of this particular size um, on their website will set you back 135 to 155, 165 bucks, depending on who makes it. That's a lot of money. I mean, you probably didn't pay that much for your lower. Uh, so why would you repair it? I'd send a damn thing back, uh, unless you dinged it or whatever it happened to be. Now, I will tell you that uh, because Brownells probably buys a ton of just this one size. Um, they were selling them, I think, at one point for about $65, $70. So that's less expensive, but still, that's a lot of money to clean up one set of threads. Thread will, Fred will rent this to you for $20 bucks, uh, plus a deposit. So, you know, you can, most of these things you can rent quite a few times before you would get up to the cost of buying one. Now, uh, as an example, uh, I should mention that we're talking about our very own Fred Zeglin at 4D Reamer Rentals. And Fred's known for renting, let's guess, Reamers? Well, yes, that is it. And Fred has thousands of Reamers. Uh, he's got everything that you could ever want to rent, probably, uh, and lots of Wildcats, too. Uh, you can download, go to his website at uh, 4D Rentals. I think it's 4D Rentals. Well, let me lie to you. Uh, yeah, 4D Rentals. The numeral 4, the letter D, and then rentals.com. Uh, you can download the price list on there. But here's an example of, of some of the tools that he does rent. Um, these are uh, AR-15 extension gauges, uh, headspace gauges. And these you use off the barrel. You yank a barrel out and show you. Uh, these are in 223. So, I'm sorry, let me start with the go gauge first. Drop that sucker right in there and turn it. Well, okay. If it goes in and turns, it's headspace correctly, and I am not feeling hardly any motion on that at all. Okay? So, you don't have to come through the receiver or do any of that. And here's the no go gauge. And no, what it did was the uh, the uh, handle backed off, but it will not turn in there. So that's what it's supposed to do or not do. Um, these extension gauges are a hundred bucks a piece if you buy them from uh, 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 Pacific Tool and Gauge. Uh, for Fred uh, will give you headspace gauges when you rent a set of dies or a, a reamer from him for uh, five bucks for one or eight bucks for the pair. Be a sport, spend the eight bucks, get the pair. So you'd have to be buying a, or use, make an awful lot in the same caliber before that becomes worthwhile. The other things we have, uh, this is a uh, die, which will clean up the uh, threads on your buffer tube if they get dinged up. Um, this is the die that will clean up the threads on the front of your um, upper receiver if they get dinged up. This is for removing your AR barrel extension. This goes in, locks in, put the barrel in a barrel vise, and you get on this with a big wrench, uh, making sure you've pulled the uh, locating pin out first, or you're going to have some excitement, and that'll back it out and in. So that's how that works. Don't get on there with a pipe wrench. It'll look bad. It won't look good for your status. Um, there's the basic AR-15 multi-tool that takes off your uh, barrel nut. It does the various different nuts for your 
uh, four end tube. Uh, this covers the square on the back end of your buffer tube to remove that. Uh, this is the right size to go on to your flash suppressor on the flat that goes on there. And this will go on the rear and take your buffer tube lock nut off. And this part here will stick into the screw on the rear of your butt plate on a regular uh, rifle style stock and take that out. So there you go, it does all kinds of things. Uh, you can also use this one here uh, for a half inch uh, drive for your torque wrench so that you can put that on there and get the correct torque. If you don't know what that torque value is, it's not what it says um, on your uh, spec sheet. That's not what you put on your torque wrench. There's a formula. And if you look at uh, uh, our good friend, Mark Foster's DVD, you'll find on a website for Tactical Practical and Tactical or the uh, AR-15 Law Enforcement Armors course. Uh, that's where you'll find the formula that tells you how far from here to here to how much you change the torque. Um, here you have your basic jacket that you put your uh, upper through. Uh, this goes through the inside of your upper once you get it on there and you clamp the whole thing in a vise. The purpose of the tube is to keep that receiver from collapsing when you clamp that down. This goes in the underside of your lower up in the uh, uh, magazine well, and that allows you to go ahead and work on your upper with it clamped in the magazine. Okay, so uh, you got all kinds of different tools here. If you wanna see what he's got, go on the website 4drentals.com, uh, download the price list, and it's a, it's a really good option if you're not doing a lot of something. Now, if you're me, you know, I buy the $150 tool to do a $10 job just because, all right, so I'm kinky for tools. But don't you be that guy. Be the smart guy. Rent them.